How many of you people have got CD players? Many? Why did you get them? Why did you get them? Why did you get them? Yeah, better than records, you reckon? And why did you get them? Because they're easier to look after than records? C CDs are cheap. Yeah. Well, anyway, there's a lot of dispute as to whether records are better than CDs and vice versa. CDs are obviously very expensive. However, Karen went out and spoke to a few people, asked them about the comparisons between the two things and about the reasons for the price difference. Have a look at this. As you can see, I'm in mourning because something I hoped and feared would never happen has happened. The price of records is going up by $2. So now the $15 you used to fork out for a slab of vinyl will soon not be enough. You'll have to fork out $17. The price of cassettes has also increased and at the same time the price of many compact discs have dropped. So now often you can buy a compact disc for around $17. To me it looks very much as though this is the first step in the total eradication of vinyl. In some ways there seems to be a move within the industry to push records to the point of saying well if people want to continue to buy records over compact discs they've got to pay for them. The people who are going to suffer the most are, are, the, are the kids, say from the you know, 11 to 17 year old bracket or whatever, the, the people who haven't got a lot of income. So um, I think that's going to be the major problem with record sales. But once again I think it's the record companies trying to eliminate the vinyl market and move people more to CDs in, in a rapid fashion. What do you think of the fact that the price of records and cassettes is going up by $2? Uh, I think that's pretty bad actually because a lot of kids can't afford um, cassettes and stuff. So. If you've got a certain amount of pocket money, where you have, if you've only got, if it's two dollars up, I mean, it's, it ruins all yeah. everything, does it? As it is, they're already outrageously priced. Yeah. And so, is it going to affect the amount of records you buy? Hardly buy any as it is. Everything goes up here. Cuts go up every <laughs> six months. Oh, they've been going up spastic for ages. I mean, they used to be 10 bucks, now they've gone up to 16. Now that's stupid, that's shocking. The expenses have been off already, you just shouldn't have to pay so much for music you like. Uh, I think it's a pain in the ass. I don't think it's very good because if it's too expensive, people won't choose to buy the songs, the records, if they've only got a few songs that they like on it and they'll tape it off the radio or something. It now makes import records a lot more attractive to the, to the, to the buyer, to the marketplace, because we're going to be able to sell most import records at the same price as locally manufactured records. And there is a difference in quality of uh, vinyl pressing and also quality of cover and presentation between England, America and Australia. So we're expecting sales in import records to rise quite dramatically in the next 12 months. The price of CDs is coming down a lot anyway. We're, there's only one company now at $28 for their full price. Everyone else is down to $24.99. And there's also a very big range of uh, under $20, like back catalogue discs available now. So the prices are starting to meet, yes. The price of compact discs is dropping to around the same price as a record. Would that, you would you switch to compact discs? Definitely, yeah. Compact discs are better than records anyway. I won't because we don't have a compact disc at the minute. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit of a problem. We don't have a compact disc player. Personally, I prefer the records. I don't go for compact discs. Because CD players are still pretty expensive, so um, no, I wouldn't be buying CDs at all. I prefer to have an album because it's so big and like you've got the covers and the posters and stuff like that, so um, that's quite good. Where compact is just a plastic little thing.